Hello friends, this video pair of linear equations in two variables part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Let's now understand elimination method. We have learned substitution method where we have to write the value of x in terms of y and then use that value of x in the other equation to get the values. Now let's understand elimination methods because there are various methods algebraic methods to solve it let's understand elimination method in elimination method we first multiply both the equation by some suitable non-zero constant to make coefficient of one variable numerically equal for example i'll tell you so we have let's suppose let's suppose we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 is one equation and let's suppose another equation is 3x plus 5y is equal to 10. That's it. We will multiply both the equation by suitable non-zero constant to make the coefficient of one variable, either x or y zero. So if we want to make the value of x and y equal, if we multiply this by 3, this becomes 6x. If you multiply the whole thing by 2, this becomes 6x. Then both the values will be same. That will be 6x plus 9y is equal to 15. And this equation will be 6x plus 10y is equal to 20. Correct? So here what we have achieved? We have got both the values same. x or this was the x1. We want to make y equal. So in that case, we could have multiplied this by instead of 3 by 5 this becomes 15 and this instead of 2 by 3 this also becomes 15 so this would have got 10x plus 15y is equal to 25 and here would have got 9x plus 15y is equal to 30. so here if you see y part are seen and here x part is so any of this is possible any of this is okay just we have to multiply by a suitable number, right? Just to make sure that x part is same or y part is same. Any, any of this okay. This is step one. Once we are in step one, then we add or subtract one equation from the another so that the variable gets eliminated. So in this case, six and six, if we add it, this becomes 12. But if we subtract it, this becomes zero, correct? So I'll subtract these two equations. This becomes zero actually. This becomes zero, plus 9 by minus 10 by is equal to minus y is equal to 15 minus 20 is equal to minus 5. Correct. Here also, since if I add this, this is not 0, but if I subtract this becomes 0, so I'll subtract this. Correct. Had this equation be minus 5 by here, if you see, had this equation be minus 5 by, then in that case, if you add both this equation actually, then only it becomes 0. So here we subtracted and here we are adding. The goal is to eliminate one part. So here you get 19x is equal to 45. So if you see here also what we have achieved is we have achieved one equation is totally in terms of y. Here we are achieving one equation totally in terms of x. Correct. So the target here is to eliminate one variable. That's what the target is. Now, in this statement, again, if you get a true statement, that means it has infinite solutions. The same thing which you have done in the last thing. Here, if you get a false statement, then no solution. And if you get some value, some value of x and y, that means it has finite solution. For example, in this case, we got y is equal to 5. And here we got x equal to something 45 y 9. Both are finite solutions. So if you get x, we can find the value of y put by putting the value in other equations. Correct? So the step is, step one is, you have to multiply, you have to multiply both the equation by some suitable non-zero constants such that coefficient of either x becomes same or coefficient of y becomes same. Right? Once the coefficients are same, only the coefficient, not the positive and negative part I'm talking about. Now either you have to add or subtract. Why? to make sure that this coefficient is gone. So in this case, both were positive, so I subtracted. So this becomes zero. Here, one was positive, one was negative, so I added these two equations, so this becomes zero. The goal is 
to find the equation that is totally in terms of x or totally in terms of y and we have got this correct once we have got this if we get a true statement in this in this case if we get a true statement we we'll say that this is the infinite solution if you get a false statement we we'll get a we'll say it's a inconsistent no solution and if it is a unique value we'll say that okay this lines meet and there's a unique solution we'll take some examples for this and once we have x or y we can substitute these values to get the answer we'll take finite number of solution examples it, the question says the sum of two digit number and the number obtained by reversing the digit is 66. If the digit of the number differs by 2, find the number. To solve this question, let's assume the two digits of the number be x and y. Not the number, let's suppose the two digit number is 2 and 3. Then the number that can be formed is 23. To get 23, what to do? We have to multiply 2 by 10 and add 3. So you see, 23 is nothing but 2 into 10 plus 3. If x and y is suppose 2 and 3, then the number actually is 2 into 10 plus 3. If the number is suppose is 65, right, and x and y is 65, to find the actual number, you have to multiply 6 by 10 and add 5. So to find the value of x, y, what to do? We have to multiply 10 with x and add y. So this will be the value of x, y. Correct. If x and y are two digits, so in this case 6 and 5 are two digits, to represent 65, we have to say 10 into 6 plus 5, that becomes 65. 23 becomes 2 into 10 plus 3, 23. So for x, y, to represent the x, y numerically, x, y is nothing but 10 into x plus y, because this is unit place and this is 10 place. So this becomes 10 x plus y. Had this been 3 digit number, let's suppose x, y, z, which is not there, but just to understand, to represent this number, we have to say 100x plus 10y plus z. For example, let's suppose the number is 352. 352 is nothing but 3 into 100 plus 5 into 10 plus 2. Correct? So for 2 digit number, it is 10x plus y. For 3 digit number, 100x plus 10y plus z. If it is an x, y, z form. So this concept is clear. If it is x, y, the number, the two digit number are x and y, so the number will be 10x plus y. Now, the number obtained by reversing the digit is yx. If we reverse the digit, the number obtained is yx. Correct? Now, for yx, it will be, for x, y, the number will be 10x plus y. For yx, the number will be 10y plus x. Because in this case, y is at the 10 place, x is at the unit place. So the original number is 10x plus y and the number obtained by reversing the digit is 10y plus x. Now the question says the sum of two digit number and the number obtained by reversing its digit is 66. That means original number that is 10x plus y plus number obtained by reversing the digit plus number obtained by reversing the digit that is 10y plus x. This number is 66. That is my equation number one, right? Also, the digit differ by 2. Now, digit differ by 2. X can be greater than 2. Or X can be greater than Y or Y can be greater than 2. So there are two possibilities. Right? Case 1. X minus Y is equal to 2. And case 2. Y minus X is equal to 2. There are two possibilities. Correct? It is saying that the digit differ by 2. But it is not saying which one is more, which one is less. So there are two possibilities. This is number two. Now we have two equations. Please understand once again. If the number is x, y, the actual representation, the numerical value will be 10x plus y. If the number is y, x, the numerical value will be 10y plus x. For example, if the number is 2, 3, it is x, y, let's suppose. The number is 2 into 10 plus 3. The number is 6, 5, it is 6 into 10 plus 5. The number is x, y, it is 10x plus y. Question says if you add the number with the number obtained by reversing the digit, it is 66. And also the difference between digit is 2, they are two case. So I have written both the case. Now let's take case 1. Or let me first uh, write this equation more general form, this one. Because they are 2x, 2y's. So I'll write this equation in this form. This becomes 10x plus x, that is 11x. 
plus 10 y plus y 11 y is equal to 66 11 is common I can say 11 into x plus y is equal to 11 into 6 11 I can cancel this so I will get x plus y is equal to 6 this is my first equation right now let me take case 1 case 1 x plus y is equal to 6 and x minus y is equal to since already uh, the coefficient is same I need not multiply if I add these two equations this becomes 2x is equal to 8 or x is equal to 4. once I have x equal to 4 I can put this value in this equation so I'll get 4 plus y is equal to 6 or I'll get y is equal to 2 right so x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2 that means my first solution x is equal to 2 x equal to 4 y is equal to is my first solution now case 2 case 2 case 2 this first equation is still true for case 2 also that is x plus y is equal to 6 but the second equation changes here it is y minus x is equal to 2 that is y minus x that is minus x plus y is equal to 2 right y minus x is nothing but minus x plus y is equal to 2 here also if you add these two equations since the coefficient is the same we need not multiply so this becomes 2y is equal to 8 or I get y is equal to 4 if I put y is equal to 4 in this equation x plus y is equal to 6 that means x plus 4 is equal to 6 I get x is equal to 2 so x equal to 2 y is equal to 4 that is x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 so there are two solutions actually 42 or 24 so there are two numbers if you take 42 reverse it you get 24 you add this you, you get 66 you take 24 you reverse it you get 42 you add it you get 66 so there are two such numbers 42 and 24 but the question says 10x plus y the first number and the number obtained by reversing this 10 by plus x you add this you get 66 second the question says the difference is 2 between both the digits so that is x minus 2 is good x minus y is going to do or y minus x is going to do both the cases possible because they have not told whether x is greater than y or y is greater than x so we have to take both the cases so when you take case 1 and this equation the big equation I got I solved it I got x plus y is equal to 6 this simplified it so I have two cases first case x minus y is equal to 2 and second case minus x plus y is equal to 2 right it is y minus x is equal to 2 so both the cases I solved I got different values of x and y in first case I got x is equal to 4 y is equal to 2 the number is 42 in second case I got x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 the number is 20 elimination method we have infinite number of solution in this case let's solve this x plus y is equal to 7 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 14 so what we will do for elimination method we have to multiply x plus y is equal to 7 and we write this 2x plus 2y is equal to 14 so to make coefficient of x equal or y equal we have to multiply this by 2 and this by 1 so what you get 2x plus 2y is equal to 14 and this you get again 2x plus 2y is equal to 14 you subtract this this becomes cancel this cancels and this also cancels you get 0 is equal to 0 which is a true statement so this is a true statement this has infinite number of solution let me repeat what we have done we have multiplied this first equation by 2 so that the coefficient of x is same and we found that we got true statement that means it has infinite number of solution let's take one more example where we have no solution here x plus y is equal to 7 let me write x plus y is equal to 7 and here you have 2x plus 2y is equal to 5 since it is 2x we have to multiply with 2 to make the coefficient equal so this becomes 2x plus 2y is equal to 14 and this becomes 2x plus 2y is equal to 5 to subtract this cancels this becomes 0 RHS becomes 14 minus 5 equal to 9 so 0 is equal to 9 this is a false statement since it is a false statement I can say that there is no solution correct very simple what we have done using elimination method we found that there is no solution for this let's take home thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again